studying the merchant of venice here's how you can analyze that three scene one the scene opens with Antonio's friends Solano and Salarino speaking about the bad luck that Antonio has been experiencing. And we can see here in what Salarino says that there's been more bad news about Antonio's ships, yet more of his ships have been wrecked and he's been losing money. As we're speaking about Antonio's bad luck, the stage directions here show that Sherlock is entering and going directly to them. Sherlock is furious and he speaks using repetition here to accuse them of playing a part in helping Jessica, his daughter, run away. Salarino is quite smug and he speaks using Cesura here to admit that definitely he and Solano took part in helping Jessica flee Sherlock's home. Sherlock is overcome with anger and this exclamatory sentence shows that he is especially annoyed that his Jewish daughter let Christian people help her run away from her own father. Yet Salarino insults Shylock and he uses this language to juxtapose how Jessica and Shylock could not be any more different. They couldn't be any more different than Jet and Ivory. In other words, he is insulting Shylock and saying that whilst Jessica is a good person, Shylock is evil. Shylock then informs them that he has heard about Antonio's recent spate of bad luck. He uses this metaphor to state that he knows that Antonio's ships have been shipwrecked and Antonio might not be able to pay him back the loan that he had given him. Salarino is uneasy when he hears this and he speaks using Cesura as he remembers one of the conditions for Antonio taking a loan is if he can't pay it back then Shylock can take a pound of his flesh. Here he is asking Shylock to have mercy on Antonio in case he can't pay it back. Shylock speaks using repetition to say that he will definitely take a pound of Antonio's flesh because it's going to be part of his revenge for the disrespect Antonio has shown him. Sherlock then highlights the theme of prejudice. He speaks using alliteration as well as listing to remind both men that Antonio has been really racist towards him. He has treated him really badly purely because he is Jewish. Sherlock then becomes more and more impassioned. He uses hyperphora here, which is when you ask a rhetorical question and you answer it immediately, to highlight that Antonio's terrible treatment is purely because of him being Jewish. Sherlock uses repetition as well as listing hair to emphasize the fact that just because he's Jewish, that doesn't mean he's not human. He's a human being just like Antonio. So Antonio was making a mistake in how badly he treated him and he deserves revenge. Sherlock uses hyperphora here to conclude that just the way society treats Jewish people with revenge, he should also have the right to avenge Antonio's wrongs. The stage directions then show Tubal, another Jewish merchant, has entered with news for Sherlock. Tubal tells Sherlock that he searched for Jessica, he couldn't find her, but then he heard that she had sold her mother's ring, which she stole from him, to merchants in Genoa, which makes Sherlock really sad.